Hi Kindy, I hope you have a great day of learning. This week we are reading the story, Thelma the Unicorn by Aaron Blaby. Our learning intention today is good readers use picture and word clues to make connections to the story. With someone at home, I want you to share what has happened in this story so far. What did Thelma really, really want to be? All right, let's read it. Thelma the Unicorn. Thelma felt a little sad. In fact, she felt forlorn. You see, she wished with all her heart to be a unicorn. Her best friend's name was Otis. He liked her quite a lot. He said, you're perfect as you are. But Thelma said, I'm not. And that was when she saw it, a carrot on the ground. It gave her such a great idea, she squealed and jumped around. She took that simple carrot and she tied it to her nose. I'll say that I'm a unicorn. It might just work. Who knows? Well, as she did, a truck drove by. The driver rubbed his eyes. Good grief. Is that a unicorn? He shrieked in great surprise. As Thelma watched the swerving truck, it very nearly hit her. Would you believe that truck was filled with nice pink paint and glitter? Oh, Thelma looked amazing. She was a unicorn. I'm special now, she cried out loud. And so a star was born. All across the whole wide world, her fans would cheer her name. Thelma loved it, every bit. The fame, the fame, the fame. Thelma was a superstar. Her dreams had all come true. But soon she found that so much fame was kind of tricky too. You see, her fans were mad for her. They'd scream and cry and laugh. They'd chase her everywhere she went to get her autograph. In fact, they'd chase her all day long. It never, ever stopped. Why won't the fans leave Thelma alone? They chased her while she exercised. They chased her while she shopped. Please don't chase me anymore, she asked the screaming crowd. We'll chase you all we want, they said. We're fans, so it's allowed. Do you think Thelma's fans are doing the right thing by not listening to her when she's asking them to stop? What would you do if someone asked you to stop? And some were not her fans at all. No, some were really mean. <gasps> Why do you think some people are being so mean? And some just did the meanest things she'd really ever seen. Unicorns are dumb, I agree. Have you ever had someone act in a mean way towards you? How did it make you feel? So one dark night, she felt quite sad. This famous little pony, she said, I thought that I'd feel great. But all I feel is lonely. Thelma is getting a lot of attention from her fans. Why do you think she's feeling lonely? What do you think she's thinking when she's looking at the photo of Otis? Feeling lonely is not a nice feeling. How do you think she'll make herself happy again? Thelma learns that she was the most happy when she was herself with her friend Otis. 
I want you to think of you. Why are you happy to be you? What makes you special? Today I want you to finish this sentence. I am happy to be me because. On the next slide, I've put a copy of this sheet if you'd like to print it out and you can write your thinking in the cloud. Otherwise, you can just write your sentence on a piece of paper in your book. All right, I am happy to be me. Well, I'm happy to be me because I have an amazing family that love and care for me. So I'm happy to be me because I have such a wonderful family. I also want to say how lucky and how happy I am because I have the best job in the world. I get to teach wonderful children and watch them grow. I'm so lucky that I get to do that. And that's what makes me happy. So it's your turn. Can you finish the sentence? I am happy to be me because. What do you have? Or what can you do? We can't wait to read them.